Hey everyone, uh, Ryan Neehawk here with Neehawk Designs and Lindsay and I just wrapped up an awesome project for the Williamstown Police Department and uh, we just wanted to make this here video to show you how we use our CNC equipment and how that played a role in this sign. A lot of it was done by hand, a lot of it was done with CNC equipment, but it's not the normal way that you see a lot of people making signs. We do things a little bit differently and this is how. So what I mostly want to talk to you guys about is, or I should say the main reason that I made this video at first was I see a lot of people asking questions about how do you make standoff letters and attach them to a sign and then there's room for your lights behind it. And uh, I see that question a lot on forums and whatnot and uh, I think there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is how we do it. However, the thing that is interesting about this is it ties into a lot of different parts on how you can use your one file uh, that you make and we, we use Vectric Aspire but you can use that one file to make your sign you can use it to cut out your letters and then you can also use it for several other things and that's kind of what this video is going to be about it's going to be about how to how we in, in at least this case set up our workflow so that we can make our one file and do several different things from that one file to make our job a lot easier, more accurate, and have it all come out better, and to hopefully get it right the first time. That's a big one. Uh, I kind of don't like doing things twice. We've done that way too many times. Yeah. So the first step in making any of these signs that we do is usually starting with making the digital file. And uh, we do that on Aspire. And uh, from there, the one when, in this case, the first thing we did was cut the letters out. Um, second thing we did was we made a template, which looks like this. Kind of hard to see, but uh, there you have it. You can see that there's holes in it, and it's big. And it's uh, we made this one out of quarter-inch thick MDF, and uh, you see there's holes on the back side. Um, you can even see how useful this is. This is where our bracket went across on the inside. And you see those footprints. And then same on the bottom. So um, this bracket, this the template is extremely useful. Um, but anyway, back to the template later. So the second thing we did is we cut out the letters out of stainless steel on our CNC plasma table. Um, and then we took those letters and we actually laid them on the template so that we can mark them and we just use like a Sharpie or a Milwaukee ink cell so we can mark where the studs go. And then we use those marks that were on the studs to actually weld the studs on. And in the end, after the studs are all welded on, they should line up perfectly with the holes that are on the template which will be the same whole location as the ones that are going to be made on the sign blank. So your, your letters should both fit your template as well as the sign blank. Um, another thing that we did for all the finish work on these uh, letters is we cut out a, just a piece of plywood, that same exact hole pattern, so we can temporarily bolt our letters on to the plywood in order to put the brush finish on them. Um, we used a couple different tools uh, to clean the letters up and it's a fairly decent amount of work and so it's a lot easier to do it if they're actually attached to something like a piece of plywood and so that's what we did in this case. So the next step in our project was to take our template and lay it out on our cedar boards to make sure 
that all of our joints lined up in the right spot. Um, we also used it to make sure that all of our loose tenon festal dominoes all went um, in a location that wouldn't be exposed when we did the perimeter cut with the CNC machine. Um, so we did that. After everything was uh, glued up, we were able to take the wood blank and put it on the CNC machine and cut out the profile as long as well as the beveled edge and the writing. Um, at the same time, and probably one of the most important parts, is it placed all of the holes on the sign blank so that they match up with our stainless steel letters. Um, the only extra step that I did is I countersunk the bolt heads on the back side. The next step after that is we use that same Aspire file to make the uh, steel cutout shape um, to form the bracket. The bracket is the same shape as the sign. So I cut out a piece of steel that is the same shape that we could wrap the uh, the steel band around and that actually worked out fantastic and uh, really made everything come together. There's a few other places as well where you can use templates um, and you know I highly suggest using them we use them all the time but uh, when we made we made a couple templates so that the contractor who did all the masonry work knew exactly where to place the threaded rod or the the, the anchor bolts to come up out of the uh, concrete pillars so you make a wooden template out of like three quarter inch plywood, hand it off to the contractor, he can take care of that stuff, and then you can use that same exact Aspire file or whatever file you're gonna use, that same exact um, layout, and you can use okay, it to cut so out your post base. And so you're limiting the amount of mistakes that you might make down the road. All right, y'all, so um, a few important things. Uh, one of them is, you know, in the video here, you're gonna see pictures of the sign, but it's actually not done yet. Uh, there's some lights going on top of it that need to be done by an electrician, and there's some post wraps that they wanna do to make it look a little more like the police station itself. And then the last thing is, um, well, the lights need to be hooked up, but also there's a little more masonry work, and uh, in the end, I think it's gonna look awesome. It does look awesome anyway, but uh, maybe that's my opinion. Um, but the customer's pretty happy. That's pretty much it. In order to do our standoff letters, we cut out the letters, we make a template, we mark them, we always use a template, and we make sure we use those same exact holes on the sign. Um, sometimes it gets still messed up. Uh, there's always room for error. Um, but uh, this helps limit a lot of those issues. There's other ways to do it as well. You could even cut holes and plug weld all of your threaded rod, whatever you want to do. Um, this is just how we do it most of the time, and it changes depending on the situation. Sometimes your letters are foam, and that makes it really easy to place the holes on the letter when you're cutting out foam letters or something like that. Um, and you can use that same template on whatever it is that you're making, um, and that's how, that's how we do it. So uh, there's a lot more to this sign. Uh, we did LED lighting, we powder coated everything, we, uh, um, and all that, done, everything was done from scratch. And I'd love to get to more detail about that, just not in this video. If you wanna learn more about that type of stuff, then please subscribe to our channel and click the like button. And thank you very much. <laughs>